Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on your location around the world. I'm Sara Nogueira, and I'm here to welcome you to another episode of our Urological World series. Today, we are traveling to Madrid to watch Dr. Gomez Sancha perform a whole lab with Moses Technology in a 66-year-old male with low urinary tract symptoms due to a benign prostate hyperplasia. Dr. Gomez Sancho will be explaining all the steps of the procedure, so please feel free to participate in our forum and ask questions. I hope you enjoy the surgery that is about to begin. Hello, my name is Fernando Gomez Sancha. I am a urologist and I am highly specialized in laser prostatectomy. And we're going to present a case today of en bloc uh, MOLEP. This means uh, Moses HOLEP with uh, uh, early apical liberation. I think this is a very exciting new development in the field of uh, holmium laser enucleation of the prostate. And we will have plenty of time to discuss the advantages of, of this approach. The patient is a 65-year-old man with a previous history of acute urinary retention who overcame this, this uh, retention initiating treatment with uh, Duodart, uh, but he's now very symptomatic and wants to improve his condition. He has no significant uh, past medical history and his prostate uh, size estimation is about 60-65 uh, grams. So to start I'm going to talk about the instrument I use. You can see it's a very simple setup. Just uh, the endoscopes I use this is the, the laser endoscope from uh, Richard Wolf that I like because of this uh, tip. The, the camera is a little bit inside and it allows me to see if I'm touching the tissue. Uh, there's a minimal amount of uh, mechanical dissection that I do with this procedure, but sometimes it comes handy. Also, it's interesting to notice that the external sheath of this uh, instrument allows me to use the morsescope and also a resectoscope in case I need to go in and use a, a resectoscope. So there's very little instrument change uh, during uh, the procedure and very little trauma to the urethra. We're going to use uh, the new uh, 120 watt uh, uh, console from Luminis and we're going to use the MOSES uh, technology. It's a very interesting pulse modulation Whereas instead of having a pulse laser that uh, uses one single pulse each time, it uh, coordinates two pulses. An initial one that generates a bubble and the second pulse that travels through this bubble to take the energy a little bit further. This, in my opinion, provides better cutting, which is paramount for this approach and provides better hemostasis as well. So let's get on with it. I hope you enjoy the procedure. If you want to make any question, you can do it through the, through the website and I will try to, to respond the best, of, uh, the best I can. 